There's one man who doesn't need a machine to know if you are telling the truth. Psychologist and body language expert Darren Stanton is so good at sniffing out deceit, sniffing, <laughs> he is now a full-time human lie detector. Let's see him in action. Is it here? You're a challenger, it's in that one. Show me. Right, OK. <laughs> Well, tonight we have a human lie detector in the studio. <laughs> I'm Darren. Pleased to meet you. He's playing a very clever game. Well, Darren joins us now. Uh, welcome, Darren. Thank you very much. Now, you've worked with the police. Um, you're a body language expert. That's correct, yeah. So watch yourself, Sally. Yeah. Um, now, no, no. You, <laughs> you... OK, for my masterclass on body language this week, I'm in the capital to teach you how to spot a lie. And look, I've even got egg on my face. The left side of your nose that flares and it twitches. You actually tilted your nose where it was. Okay, so is it in this hand? Yes. I think you've kept it that one down. Oh! <laughs> yes! Did you? Was it that one? Yes! <laughs> I'll tell you why. You've got a very, very slight flick on that side of your mouth. That's Have a micro-expression. Oh, I'm going to be watching for that now. Welcome back. Now, body language is something we all possess, and our next guest is able to tell whether or not you're lying just by the way you look. Yeah. He is known as the human lie detector, and he is Darren Stanton. Darren, great to have you on the show. Can you tell us, first of all, when did you yes. realise you had this talent, or this footage here, and what does this tell us? Now, the interesting thing about this particular picture is that the more space that a person occupies... So, for example, we see a lot of major politicians do this. So when people spread their legs or they put their hands on their hips, we tend to see this at uh, red carpet events, you know, like the awards or, or Oscars. So I think within this dynamic, Sarah Jessica Parker is asserting her authority wow. as, as thinking I'm the most important person here. And that's what she's saying non-verbally, where the other two are just happy to stand back and just, just have a chat. Yeah. No, that's well, interesting. Isn't it? As you're talking, Darren, I'm finding myself getting bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, that's true. The man who is an expert in this field, hypnotist, psychologist, body language expert, and the self-named human lie detector, Darren Stanton himself, joins me now. Hi, Darren. Hi, Mark. Good to talk to you again. Great to have you back on the show. Now, were you born with your gift in terms of spotting a liar, or is it a skill that you've acquired? That's a great question. The truth is, no, we've all got the ability to um, kind of connect with people. And it's like most things in life, whatever you get a passion for and you train in and you do on a daily basis, you get very good at. So it's just something that I've done for about 20 years now. So obviously, and you never stop learning, but anyone out there has probably got similar skills that they're training as well. Well, to discuss this more, I'm now joined live by body language expert Darren Stanton. Well, Darren, this is going to be interesting. I like this one. You've been following the G7 summit in Sicily for more than half the leaders. This is their first as a body language expert. What's the impression that you've had? Yeah, absolutely. I think with President Trump, he's very much the sort of person that wants to assert his power and very much be seen as a key figure within the summer. And we can see that in terms of lots of the, diff the different gestures that he makes in terms of his handshake, the way he carries himself. So I think he's very much wants to be seen as the, you know, the key man there. Persuasion, you know, every, every, every post, everything that you like, these are all bits of data that are going towards building a profile against, against people. Uh, and like they say, knowledge is power. So it's really surgically um, being able to predict um, and influence people's behaviour. Odd about the way Mick and Maraid were conducting themselves. This had caught the attention of the police. We've asked Darren Stanton, a retired police officer and body language expert, to assess the Philpott's demeanour at the press conference. We actually show genuine emotion just in, in fleeting moments. With Maraid, as she's brought into the press conference, she's showing extreme sort of distress but it's not consistent with the distress that a real person shows. There'd be different expressions coming in. When they're trying to fabricate the emotions, they imagine what that person would be feeling and they do their very best to act out those emotions. So essentially it's all in terms of where people look their eyes, looking for a baseline really. So obviously I'm sure we're all very good at sort of recognising maybe yeah. our kids or our partners because we're so used to the way that they are. Um, so listen for the way that people speak, any changes really in terms of right. sort of facial tics and stuff. So there's quite a few things that we look for. Are you cheating on me? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm cheating on you. It's proven that people trying to be deceitful use sarcasm as a defence mechanism. A person that's innocent wouldn't really make a joke of their marriage, would they, if they were being accused of, of adultery? See, individually, these things don't mean anything. 
but collectively they brought up a picture that lets me know yeah and again that's called a hand-to-mouth gesture there's lots of things there brad that are basically letting me know that you are indeed lying so let me ask you a direct question have you cheated on melissa it was morning white Hopefully, uh, I mean, it's such a great idea for a series. The series yeah. is in the can, so with a bit of luck, yeah. there'll be a broadcaster watching today who, uh, who, can, who can put that up, because it's such a, a, be great. a terrific idea. Thank you very much indeed for coming here today. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. It's really interesting. We, uh, we love having you here. Likewise. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs>